Yo, what's good everybody? This is Suheel back with Feel Good Threads and today we're going to be doing an unboxing straight from Nike. So this pair here guys, I just ended up getting the pair yesterday. I mean super, super fast shipping from Nike. Uh, I ended up winning this pair uh, this last Friday. Today is Wednesday. I, these actually came in on Tuesday. So literally this took about three business days to get to my house. Uh, as you guys can see, I've got a Just Do It uh, style tape taping going all the way around so Nike now adding this uh, just do it tape to their normal packaging as well as a swoosh sign so um, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about if you're expecting a package from Nike please be aware when it gets delivered because you definitely want to be there uh, my FedEx guy ended up just leaving this box in my front door and I was a little uh, upset about it because well I mean, it's cool that Nike uh, came out with this new packaging and the whole swoosh box and everything, but uh, it's the holiday season right now, and the last thing you want to do is get jacked. Uh, today, I'm going to be unboxing a pair of the Union Jordan 1s, uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, we'll take a look at exactly what the shoes actually look like from the unboxing all the way to the opening of the actual box, and uh, we'll go over some details behind it. So with that said, guys, let's jump into the unboxing. Alright guys, as uh, with every box, I'm always very careful on uh, ripping the box open because the last thing you want to do is cut your, your shoe box on the inside. So just be very gentle when you cut in. I'm actually really hyped to see this pair because from what I hear, the box even looks amazing. So. Let's check it out, see the receipt. Looks like I opened it backwards. And let's check this box out. Wow. All right. So Nike with a collaboration with Union in Los Angeles. And uh, this is the pair of Union black toes. As you guys can see, the size here is a men's size eight. Air Jordan 1 Retro High NRG. NRG is uh, definitely one of the more limited style runs that Nike does. And uh, UN uh, probably just means Union. This is a white, black, and varsity red. So this is the black toe version out of the two. Uh, Union and Nike released two different colorways. Uh, this being the, the black toe colorway. There's also a storm blue colorway as well, which is actually valued at a higher price not sure if it's because it's more limited or it's more sought after because of the colorway, but um, let's uh, take a quick look at this box. I mean, it's definitely different than the standard. Here's a standard uh, Jordan 1 box that we always get. This is the Jordan 1 box that you're accustomed to probably with the little label and everything. And here they've ha they have a whole collaboration of different sketches and designs and I believe this was actually an actual poster that Jordan had here. I know for sure that was one there. So it looks like it's a lot of older, old school uh, sketches and, and different posters and publications. Uh, I believe that was even uh, inside of the Jordan boxes when you end, ended up buying a pair of Jordans. So um, this is a really, really dope box, man. So just the box in itself. I would say uh, gives this a, a one up on, on your standard normal Jordans and, and you can tell that this is really This is definitely a poster because I've got that. This is really really they paid some attention to the box um, It's really cool even the Jumpman logo here is uh, actually shiny the the rest of the box is matte So uh, let's unbox this guy. and Let's check it out. Let's see what we've got in store The box even seems a little bit more solid guys, so you guys can see the collaboration, Air Jordan and Union here. Ooh, got some, oh, look at these laces, yo. That's pretty dope. So this is the Jordan 1 Union. As you guys could see, this is almost like um, an inspiration from old school Jordans because it has the yellowing patina of the sole. Uh, they were supposed to have gotten inspiration from two different uh, Jordans, so you could see this top is supposed to be one. This is apparently the black toe version of it, 
and uh, it looks like it comes with two laces here. You could see the Union LA, uh, the tab here, and uh, also if you noticed, check out the laces, guys. The laces are black, and then switch over to like a sail or like a, a cream color, and uh, so there's a cutoff there where they they switch colors, and then also you guys could see usually on the on the leather edges, it's the same color as as the actual leather panel which is like black here so this would normally be black you can see that they've actually ended up outlining the edges which gives it a cool look and that's it's really nice because it shows detailing work leather is excellent on these I could smell these oh, sorry I had to get that, sh that, that new shoe smell real quick and uh, let's see on the inside here let's see on the inside it's tied up. It's got a different style Air Jordan logo on the inside. Hopefully you guys can catch that. That usually looks like the Air Jordan logo right here. Kind of like a little banner here. Red bottom soles. And uh, let's pull the other guy out. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Obviously this is just a little tissue paper which is, which is definitely different than normal too. And uh, you guys can see on the second pair here you've got the little union collaboration uh, tag here and this here guys this is interesting this is like a almost feels like a suede I don't know if it is a suede but it's it's definitely different than your your standard Jordan 1 that you get and you can see that the stitch goes real tight starts to loosen up and really loosens up in the back end towards the heel. Uh, even that little heel cup has the yellow accents. Red portions even have the yellow accents. Man, this is a really, really good quality shoe. Oh, this is cool, and I didn't notice this. But check out the tongue, guys. The tongue is actually like a uh, deconstructed tongue, similar to Vir Virgil's uh, off-white collaborations. And, um, I mean, believe it or not, I'm seeing people offering trades of their off-white Jordan 1s, Chicago, UNC, for pairs of unions. So, that'll give you an idea uh, on how to compare apples to apples. Um, you know, obviously, off-white has been the craze over the last couple of years. But um, this, oh, even the tongue is stitched on this. That's pretty sick. You guys could see the halfway tongue there. I mean, this this is definitely up there in quality with I would say this was this is a better quality than the off-white one to be honest with you because the Chicago one had this mesh kind of a toe box it gets stained very easily and this is really just more pure leather except for this little suede heel cup and then it has a nice little hint of that deconstructed look so man this pair I mean this pair right here guys retails for $190 it's reselling right now, currently in market at about $900. Keep in mind, this is a smaller size. The smaller size is 7.5 to 9.5 run more expensive. And it has two dust bags, uh, two lace bags as well. And you can see that the second lace, it looks like they do a reverse of, of this pair. It looks like it's probably cream in the front and then runs black at the end. But then you also have a gold set as well. So. Uh, in all, this comes with a total of three pair of laces, and just just the detailing work, guys, and the colorway. Man, these are super fire, dude. I can't believe I lucked out and got this pair. Let me just go over a quick recap of what the tissue looks like. Thin, thin tissue, but it feels like it's a little bit more sturdy than your typical tissue that tears in your shoe boxes. Uh, it says Air Jordan Times Union. Oh, this looks like it might be kind of like the uh, makings of this shoe. So it shows you the laces with the black and white, white and black, and Union yellow. Pantone's Flood. Attendees. <laughs> looks like this is where all the people who were there when they were creating this here. It says the swoosh is in suede. Let's check that out. Uh, yeah, that is. That's a, it's like a suede material. So that's cool. Didn't notice that. Here's the zigzagging as well. 
midsole, light yellowing, you can see that, oxidized sole. So they meant for that to have that vintage look to it. Leather, sleek, antique rave flooded. So, and then look at this, it says no skiving or no skeeving, which means to cut the leather edges to look nice and clean. They wanted a deconstructed look. You can see that with that no edge binding. So pretty cool little, uh, it's almost like a blueprint. Coming from uh, Union Times Nike. So um, I think y'all got a good look at this pair. And uh, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on how the, the market's going to treat these guys. Are they going to keep going up? This They're at 900 right now. You guys think that they'll be the next version of the off whites, or do you guys think they might sink or just kind of stay uh, stay put at nine hundred dollars? Uh, either way, man, this colorway is super sick. I, I really like the colorway. I wish I had uh, won the storm blues as well. Unfortunately, I didn't. But um, you know, I'm gonna count my blessings to say at least I won one pair. Uh, with that said, guys. This is Suheel with Feel Good Threads. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this uh, unboxing and the review and everything. And uh, let me know if you guys scored on a pair of unions. Uh, Till next time, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to drop a like for me. Leave a comment for me as well. And you haven't subscribed yet, guys. It's time to subscribe because we do not only unboxings, but we also do custom tutorials. And our tutorials are coming up next. Blame the label. Hey. Oh. Welcome to shit to vibe with, turn up real, don't keep it silent Fake thugs, dead that violence, most of y'all be fearing sirens Still trying to find my balance, keep my faith, display my talents Hustle, dough, vacation, islands, donate dollars